you're still watching Waves. Today is World Day of Social Justice. Uh, World Day of Social Justice is an international day recognizing the need to promote social justice, which includes efforts to tackle issues such as poverty, exclusion, gender inequality, unemployment, human rights, and social protection. I believe this is a very important holiday that should be celebrated because social justice is a very important part of our livelihood as humans, you know, because by the time you look at issues like... <coughs> I mean, when we look at the Sustainable Development Goals, you know, equality is one very important SDG goal that we have. And then I believe that when we have equality, things can, we had that we had that yeah. discussion yeah. the other day here. Yeah. So, um, Sansi, what do you think about social justice? Uh, well, we need more of that in Nigeria. Hello. Mm -hmm. I like mean, I don't know why it's not like <laughs> celebrated. I think it should be a holiday in Nigeria. <laughs> but we love holidays so much we in have this country. Many holidays, <laughs> so many. I, I'm not even sure a holiday, but it, there should be more campaign, mm. more talks, more activity, you know, that drives the message of this. Yeah. And yeah. It, it should be a daily part of our everyday lives, you I know, agree. to always remember that these are the things we should strive towards so, to, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah. Jola, what do you find for us in the news today? Okay, so um, today I saw something interesting. Court stops INEC from using MC Oluomo for electoral items distribution. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, um, it says Justice Chuku, Jeku, Aneke granted the injunction following an application filed by the Labour Party and its governorship candidate in the state, Badebo Roads Vivo. And of course, he also said that, um, I mean, INEC has, it, it has restrained INEC from using, engaging, or further dealing with the chairman of Lagos Parks and Garages, Musilio Akinsaya, popularly known as MC Oluomo, you know, or any of his representatives in the distribution of elect, election materials and... I think it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, I'm very happy. To very, very you. happy. I remember we had that conversation. <laughs> yeah, that's very like, happy. How is that going to work? That issue at the first place. Like, when you know that a certain person is associated, yeah. well, it could be true, it may not be true, but popular, you know, mindset has it that this person is associated with mm -hmm. this particular party. It doesn't say, it doesn't scream fairness to mm -hmm. get them involved in distribution I mean, of... I, I get that, you know, coming from the backdrop of, um, they've always used, I, I don't know, Annex seemed to have some form of um, partnership, you know, to yeah. use NURTW, mm -hmm. w, the to national body, the to distribute. Yeah. But, I mean, this is now a particular person. That's a partisan, by the way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sure this is a step in the right direction. Sanzi, what did you find for us in the news today? Oh, yeah. I have an interesting one. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Lai Mohammed says that Nigeria is way better than we met it in 2015 and that President Buhari has fulfilled Nigeria's expectation. So he goes on to talk about how insurgency and terrorist attacks has been contained, how we have more agricultural products, even such that we are exporting more, how they're able to feed 10 million people, how they've done over 70,000 kilometers of road here and there and stuff. And the question is, I don't, we're Nigerians, so can we like do a little vote, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> do you think Nigeria has been better since 2015? Definitely. Do you think Nigeria has been better since 2015? I'm looking for cash. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely do not think so. So there you have it. Uh, That's all. My goodness. That's all. Fly, Muhammad. <laughs> okay, so um, my, my news today is actually responding to, there was, a, there was something that went around at some point saying that they found 400 billion naira worth of cash in Tunibu, that's and all that. So now mm. the ESC has come out to say that that is not true. That's actually a false report. Mm. So Poland reports that the operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, raided the home of the presidential candidate of the All People, All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and recovered 400 billion naira. The commission on Sunday denied the report. In a statement signed by the commission's head, they said that um, it has been, the attention has been drawn to reports circulating in social media, claiming that their operatives the standard, had arrested the standard bearer of um, the APC in the fourth presidential elections and recovered 400 billion. And they said, they're stating that no, opera no operation of any sort was carried yeah. out. So <coughs> please, let's debunk this news because people have been sharing it on all sorts of I platforms. Yeah. So this is, not, this is not right. Guess who is on Zoom? Guess who's joining us virtually, by the way? Well, apart from our guests. <laughs> Uwa. <laughs> Uwa is here. Hi, Uwa. Hello. Hello, Uwa. Oh, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi everyone. Thank you. 
So How I was you just doing? hearing Tanzi's lamentation around <laughs> the, the Arab <laughs> You know, so I have I haven't been to where I am currently like in a while. So mm. apparently there was a change in currency. And all I needed to do was to probably go to the post office and post the money or maybe just pay in the bank account. Mm. Right? These things are easy, you know, it's easy to to deal with, but again. Our government has made some things very complicated. So I'm excited about the topic for today, you know, and uh, I'm glad that uh, I, I could join the conversation. So I look forward to that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad that you're here. Yeah, so. it's good to see your face. Yeah. Okay, um, let's go on a break. Hello, Nigeria. This is the Vox Pop on the Way Show. And for the forthcoming election, we'll be doing a sensitization, teaching Nigerians how to vote correctly, because it is no news that many Nigerians don't know how to vote correctly. And so that our votes are not void, we need to be able to teach the people how to vote correctly. So come with us as we teach the Nigerian people how to vote correctly for the forthcoming election. Hello, sir. Do you know how to vote correctly? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want to show me? Yeah. All right, go ahead. This is exactly how you vote. You put your thumb on the stamp pad and then you vote right here. And then make sure that your hand, your, your thumb has taken a lot of ink so that it can show correctly on whoever, whatever candidate you are supporting. Thank you. Like we know, and like I said earlier, it is no news that many Nigerians do not know how to vote correctly. Some people turn print across the line. Some don't even get so much enough ink to turn print correctly. And that is why we came on the street to teach people how to vote correctly. Thank you very much for staying with us. This is the Vox Pop on the Way Show. And of course, it's your girl, Dami. Thank you. Till next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so today we'll be having um, Dele Farad Simi. Thank you for staying with us. And today we'll be talking about the effective management of sustainability at any level requires having committed leadership, clear direction, and strategic influence. And none of this will happen without a robust governance structure. Sustainability gov governance helps the country implement sustainability strategy across board, manage goal setting and reporting processes, strengthen relations and external stakeholders, and ensure overall accountability. Let's fast forward to the future. Where Nigerians successfully voted in the most qualified candidates, how can we have a structure that will keep everyone in check, regardless of political ideologies? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-8463. You could also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Dele Farotimi is a retired legal practitioner, author of two thought-provoking and insightful books, do not die in their war and imperatives of the Nigerian revolution. He's also the spokesperson for the Labour Party presidential 2023 campaign, Southwest Region. Dele Farotimi is passionate about the birth of a new and better Nigeria. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you. It's great having you on the show again with us today. How are you doing? It's a pleasure being with you. I'm very well, thank you. Yeah. How are you? Well, very well. <laughs> We're hanging in there. <laughs> We're Nigerians. I know, right? <laughs> okay, we can't wait to hear what you have to say today uh, concerning building sustainable governance in Nigeria and how this is actually going to work through your party, Labour Party. But then we'll take a short break, guys. See you shortly.